Alex. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're at John's house, and we're picking up his Civic. And he just got built, and he got to drive once, wasn't it? Just once. What? You only got to drive it once. Uh, a couple times. A couple times. Uh, it is knocking, obviously. <laughs> but there's the new motor. If you can't see it from here. We're gonna pull the head, take, put this head on in that block, have it put all together, and then me and John are gonna swap it in my shop. And hopefully everything goes well. Hazard it. You got a little scrubby scrubby out there for a second. Yeah, I don't know. What was that, my intercooler? Yeah, just the, the bottom of your intercooler and this pipe right here. I'll be fine. It didn't hurt it though. I'm just scratch a little belt forward too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's strap her down. Yeah, I was hoping you had straps. <laughs> Knowing you, I was like, oh, I guess we ain't strapping. <laughs> Let's put it in gear, pull the e-brake over, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what do it. All right, so we got John's car here. <laughs> yeah, we got the extra engine here. We started pulling the head off and pistons out. So, yeah. What'd you think? <laughs> I'm a professional by now. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> and all they said is we had to take shit apart. <laughs> so that's what we did. So good luck, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alright, so the plan is this head on that block 
and you might have to buy some pistons if you can't yeah, use those. Yeah, if those aren't toast, but they're probably toast. <laughs> so yeah, that's sort of the plan. He doesn't know just exactly what yet, but we gotta pull this motor and go from there, so. Welcome back to How the Mechanic. <laughs> Well, we got that one together, got an engine on it, started taking it apart, and now we're putting this thing together. Just a cherry picker. Or an engine hoist, if you're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, went, Google cherry. I went to the counter and I said, uh, I was looking to see if I could buy that cherry picker back there. And he said, cherry picker. <laughs> yeah, the, it was like the red cherry picker back there, it's about $1.99. He was like, the engine hoist? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> said, yeah, pull around our warehouse. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>
sound right, boy. <laughs> well, after hours <laughs> of us not knowing what we're doing. It's a five-minute job, bro. We've watched YouTube video after YouTube video trying to figure th that thing out, trying to get it out, and if we'd have known what we know now, we'd probably had it out in 10 minutes, but it took, what, hours? <laughs> it's like 10. Yeah, about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Anyway, the next motor swap <laughs> will be great because we could just pull it out, put it back in. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever done this. So, but yeah, it's out, and this block is going to the guy to get reassembled. That one right there, and then this head will be going on that block after it's assembled, and then back in the car, and then we'll go from there. Well, we don't have much light, but we are, where do I even start? So this is the block that come out of the car with that was knocking. The only thing left, we got to get it off, is this motor mount and I believe the oil pan. That light freaking just shut off. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got much light. <laughs> uh, that's the new block. We've got the head sitting on it. We're fixing to start torquing the head, the uh, head studs down. Um, he's got the water pump on, and he's got his oil lines <clears throat> and the alternator brackets and stuff like that. And then that is the old transmission. The new trans is right there, and his clutch is in my trunk over there. i got to get the clutch and stuff out and put all that on. But so far, so good, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah it should be we should be everything should be on the motor and the next thing we do would be dropping it in here and then we put the turbo and stuff on that's all the old parts pistons and stuff okay block stripped John torque master <laughs> It's not bad. What was three? Uh, you go one, two, three, and then four, and then five, six. What? No, three's up here, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oof. Add a picture. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I remember now. So we're we're torquing the head on right now with the torque wrench. And you go you go twenty five and then you go twenty five fifty eighty. Yeah, twenty five fifty eighty. Google said about seventy different things. <laughs> But yeah, this is where we're at so far. This block is almost addressed. Like I said, we're just torquing the head down and then taking breaks and then doing everything. But we've got everything done here. We're just not sure what failed in this in this block because it was knocking when he brought it here. So we're just a little, a little sparkly. Yeah, you look in the oil pan over there and it's like just metallic. So something's failed, but we'll get to that later. For now, we're just going to keep dressing this block and get it ready to drop in there Saturday. So, this is about as far as we've gotten. The motor is assembled. Don't worry about all that chain there. It's just too much chain there to comprehend. <laughs> but, as of right now, we've got the clutch, flywheel, and pressure plate on. We're putting the trans on now. He's getting the Slave cylinder from that one to put on there. But it is assembled. Everything is ready to go. We just got to put the trans on and put it in the car. Be starting it today. Yep. 
we should be dropping it in today hopefully he bought some new motor mounts so we're gonna try and put those in before is it solid mounts yeah, eBay good deal. Yeah, a little eBay good deal solid All mount. So. Quality parts for this car. <laughs> so, we're, we're on the move. It's honestly not taking that long. If he hadn't went on vacation and I hadn't went on a trip, we'd have probably already had this done. But work on it for more than 30 minutes. Yep, time. we've only worked on it literally like only 30 minutes to an hour or two at a time. So it really hasn't taken that long. Okay, so the motor's in. <laughs> After some blood, sweat, and tears, we've got it. Now we're just plugging everything up. And we should be able to start it tomorrow, I believe. We get it's to, always tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be putting the turbo on. Well, this absolutely sucks because my camera, I'm not sure what happened, but the microphone on my camera stopped working. I don't know if it was, because you can hear a little bit of this, if you listen. That was the first pull on John's, I think it was like, I can't remember exactly, but it was like, I think it was like 90 something horsepower. Because it was like the first pull or something. I can't remember. It was like 100 something horsepower. I can't remember. Anyway. So the camera, I don't know if it was from this. Like because it was so loud in there when they were doing the, the dyno pulls. I'm not totally sure if that killed my microphone. Or if my microphone was just on its way out. So some of these clips work and some of these clips don't. This is one of them that didn't work. And it saddens me, man, because I was vlogging while he was doing this, and I was talking. And it was a little loud in here, but it wasn't that. See, I'm talking here. But anyway, uh, we'll get back to the video. Like I said, some of these clips have audio and some don't. So just stay tuned for those. I'm sorry again. <laughs> All right, we're doing one more pull on pump gas. And he's swapping over to E85. So this will be the last pull. We're gonna see what it does. There's some corn. <laughs> and we're gonna get juicy. Alright, here we go.
first pass on the E85 with the same tune. <laughs> Alright, next pass, second pass on the E85. Look what just pulled up. <laughs> he made it all the way from Addison. He said it did good too. Got the bumper back on it looking clean. We're just gonna go wash it and do a couple rips. This thing ended up making 417 horsepower. And how much torque? It was like 300. Uh, 348. 348. Wild. I've got a picture here. I'll put it at the end of the video for you guys so you can see like the graph and stuff. But that is wild. For a couple of chodes, don't really know nothing about building motors. 417 horsepower crazy very very surprising <laughs> we we pulled it to the dyno <laughs> with a strap <laughs> literally put it around a ball hitch <laughs> wrapped it around what are the crash bars yeah, yeah we just pulled it down we didn't want to drive it he's making over 400 <laughs> get this we were scared to drive it but it gets on the dyno and just fucking rips. <laughs> just, just all out and killed it. It was crazy. But anyway, we're gonna go wash it and, and do some rips in it. See what she does.
Hey, don't forget to scrub the hood, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'd hit the valve cover a little bit, clean it up. Man, that thing is awesome. This concludes this video. I had so much fun doing this. There was like some ups and downs and trying to figure everything out and all that good stuff. But uh, he's gonna do one last flyby and we're gonna end this video. And it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool doing this. Pretty cool building the whole car and all that good stuff. So had fun doing it. Hopefully you can do something else. Hopefully my S10 is next. That would be awesome. Anyway. One last fly by. Peace. Holy shit. <laughs> he spun forever. It left marks in the road. Jeez. Anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Peace.